All right, welcome everyone. Uh, another recap uh, coming in from the WCL. This week, uh, I'm going in, well, today, <clears throat> we're going in with the lightweight semifinals uh, with Immortals versus COC War Team. Uh, and obviously Immortals seen on the screen there came away with a 59 to 58 victory and the difference maker uh, is going to be the attack we open with today. <clears throat> Drop a little bit of volume out of my ears so that I can focus on what we're doing. Alright, so the first hit we're going to pop right across here and it is against Starscream with Legend coming in on the 11 v 11 triple. So we are going to go straight into this one right now. <clears throat> So coming in with bowlers and witches, uh, a little bit of a, a full-on composition uh, in here, but we will keep a track of this on screen. I'm trying to keep on there. So look at those outside bombs uh, sitting there and a Tesla farm on that side of the base as well. So all the giant bombs gone at this point. So uh, getting those bowlers in the middle, going to be huge amounts of value because you're not going to have to worry about uh, healing them up from those traps it's all about the defenses here so big line of witches coming in uh, trimming things down king comes in and is taking the heat from that and uh, from that eagle so you're gonna see everything bust through here tons of skellies all sorts of them and now the bowlers moving in as well so a bit of trimming to the sides and everything moving to the middle here jump comes down now uh, just to move into that inner ring of the base so we're going to zoom in, so everything is just going to be sort of fanning out from this point, but pushing across the base. A few things trimming to the sides, should get that Inferno down just barely with the Witch, so now she's going to keep moving in into that splash and she will go down. But everything else is going to rotate around this base now. Uh, still has a Baby Drag, a Rage, Minion, Hero abilities, so no issues going on here. So there we go. Bowlers all moving up there. We've got some skellies on the outside trimming things down uh, and no worries here. So still has a rage to go and everything moving there. So that rage will come down shortly. Everything getting a little confused by those skellies right now, but that's okay. Uh, so there we go. So you look at this side of the base and you think, oh, is it is it done? But the bowler is working on that town hall. So no issue going on there. Queen still having ability moving in with that aura of the Grand Warden. So still staying up and he is actually tanking for her right now. And now she is going to directly target that expo and it's no worries. So Bowler and Miner putting in work. Baby Drag, couple of minions helping out on the outside. Going to lose that rage in a minute, but that's okay. And Queen just putting in work. So now at this point, uh, there's just going to be basically the splash to go. Uh, and that's going to be no issue for a baby dragon, a miner, and a bowler, and they will put in the work. So looks a lot closer um, when you watch it, but honestly, huge difference maker. So close doesn't matter when it's uh, when it's a three star; it's a win. So there we go. That is the difference maker, which is what gave Immortals the win over CSC War Team. But we're going to move out here, and we're going to move down the town hall levels, and we're going to look at a ten v ten triple. Uh, Yes, we are. 10 v 10 triple. Number four on oh, number five. So Christian getting tripled by Killer. So we are going to go in on this replay. Um, I really liked uh, this replay. So coming in with a Falcon. So there's the Queen. There's the Baby Drag funneling at the top. Queen is getting the warp portion done. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of an interesting Falcon. You're going to see why in a minute. Uh, why I say that it is interesting. So Baby Dragon getting a ton of value there, taking out those high hit point buildings. Usually those high hit point buildings are going to be what anchors your Valks uh, to uh, push them into the base. So here we go, King and Wizards funneling on the other side now. So Queen wants to push across. Once she takes that building down, she should move into the Archer Tower and the Wizard Tower. So she will break to the right, move away around. So now it's just about time. Once that funnel's set, just needs a couple more buildings on that side. Valks come in now, and they should push into this next compartment. Bowler's in behind. And there we go. Rage comes down to push them through that first wall. Gonna have a heal come down over the splash. Now another Rage will push through as well. Uh, poison down for the CC and a freeze, just giving the Queen time to step up and take 
care of business. There's that rage and that final heel going through to the middle of the compartment, the outside of the base now. Just got those uh, expos to go down. Queen is putting in work. Bowlers putting in tons of work on the heroes as well. So now they're in on those expos. So lots of value to be had here. I may have been thinking of another attack when I said this was going to be an interesting one. You look at those eight hogs still to go, yet to be deployed. So they are coming in on the outside, a uh, bit of a far deployment at the top, wanting to directly target the archer tower, making sure there's a bit of split on those hogs. Uh, didn't want them to all be uh, sprung or uh, flung by a trap. So there we go. So now they're putting in work and the healer is keeping them up. So they're going to make their way all the way around this base while the bowler and Valks wheel up uh, clockwise the hogs are going to be moving anti-clockwise uh, and then they will all wrap back around to this corner by the end of the uh, attack so here we go so that falcon just really powerful attack at town hall 10 especially with some of these lower level walls um, in the base uh, the raged valks just rip through everything so you'll notice there are no wall breakers uh, in this attack and that's why all right so the third attack we are going to show by Immortals is on number 13. So let's move down the list here. Ricky getting taken out by Bunny. And I liked this hit a lot. Um, I was very lucky to spot this one. It's just a... I really enjoyed it. So you look at this composition really quickly and you think, okay, a shattered entry on Hogs. Uh, but four healers. So... What's going to happen here? So you're going to see the baby dragon there funneling. Queen comes down. She's going to have four healers on her. So this is a walk portion of the raid. Her objectives uh, are going to be the king and the clan castle. That is the primary objective for her at the moment. Uh, so this is a pretty cool attack. So rather than going in uh, with, say, a stoned hobo, so three golems, uh, they've dropped a golem, added a healer so they are losing a few more troop space but looking to get a ton of value out of this queen so she takes out uh, the enemy king and a rage goes on her another rage will also uh, be going uh, down for the kill squad as that comes in so there go the two golems wizards now trimming out and king comes in there's the bowlers split cc so not ideal so second poison comes down one each side uh, and just waiting for those troops to come in that kill squad to go in and take care of that valk so she's going to pop one of those golems the queen pops the other one but there's still three golemites left at this point rage comes down so king will take care of the queen along with some bowlers and they're going to walk so not ideal but the queen's gone into the base and she still has all four healers on her right now so tons of value. So you look at this kill squad. Heroes are down as well. Splash is down. One of the expos is down. Tesla farms popped. So all of this is nice, tidy pathing left for those hogs. So brings the hogs in from 4 o'clock and going to have them wheel their way around the base. So opted to sort of dot a few in at a time. And just have them trickle in defense by defense. And now they're all going to mass up here and getting maximum use of that heal. So beautiful work uh, and then just taking out those last defenses the queen again still up basically full health king and bowlers wheeling their way around the base uh, and cleanup is in so a huge beautiful hit at town hall nine so that queen walk into a shattered entry um, obviously just picked very specifically for the space very nice hit and something just a little different um, with the way that those uh, yeah you expect queen walk hogs or queen charge hogs uh, but to come in with basically a shattered hobo and a queen walk uh, or queen charge in that case was just uh, really cool to see. So awesome hit by Bunny on Ricky. And now we're going to move across to the other side here while we go in and have a look at number two versus number three. So Bureau getting hit by part two. So coming in here we're gonna have a quick look at this so it is a huge amount of witches going in on this so it's mass witches gonna have bowlers in the cc uh those max heroes two jumps to get through the base so let's have a look uh, and see what happens here some really interesting um bits and pieces through this um, attack as well so it is kind of the witch slap uh going on at town hall 10 
uh, but those witches obviously getting the buff in the last update uh, makes them extremely powerful across all town hall levels. So there we go. So big amounts there. There's the jump just bleeding onto the corner. Enough for that golem to jump in. Heroes come in, bowlers, and just unfortunately get clipped by that giant bomb. So they're already at a little disadvantage there. So Rage comes in wanting to get a ton of damage here. But look at this. Uh, CC down or out and that Tesla farm huge heal comes down brings those bowlers up massively that Tesla farm though right next to the Inferno so no way that's gonna stay up uh, everything's gonna move into there and target that very very quickly so you see a second jump is in and they get through to that back side of the base where it all matters and now we've got the witches still up on the outside on the south and witches still up on the top side as well so at this point uh, everything's looking really good and the archer queen still has ability so everything going down there queen's gonna start taking out some skellies at this point she still has her ability and she will use that shortly one little hero skelly look at him go all right so queen ability is now used and she's going to take out that cannon very, very quickly. Uh, at this point, it's just point defenses and so many witches, so many skellies ready to go. Um, air defense is taking out the healers, but not a huge deal because uh, there's just nothing going to take care of that tanking. Uh, Queen's still up. Well, two times out of this. So the witches go down on top side, but so much. I mean, look at that. Four witches still up and, you know, 24 skeletons at a time-ish. Um, still going so huge huge value there by the witches and so now we're going to move through we had we didn't have a town hall 11 triple uh from coc war team oopsie i went and replayed it um so we are going to move down to two town hall nine attacks we're going to go with a six pack uh that came in here so let's quickly pop into that so both bunny and uh did i hit the right one there we go so Kashagra Srivas and Bunny both getting taken out by Kanback. So uh, we're going to move in on Bunny's hit first. The hit on Bunny first, sorry. Uh, and it's the same composition for both. But we're going to look at the value that was got on each of these attacks. So you look at this. Um, so we're looking at a Gobo Lalo. So you're going to see bowlers come out of the CC. So golems are walking in now, targeting defenses, getting a nice wide funnel set. So a couple of wizards behind, just trimming things down making sure the kill squad goes where he wants it so look at what this jump spell is going to get really quickly you're going to see the jump spell come in over this sort of junction here you're going to have access to two air defenses you're going to have access to the cc which has been pulled the queen and a whole bunch of splash including uh once you get into that compartment you pretty much have access to both expos so let's have a look and see how it played out we know it's a triple but I just want to sit, show you the value that's there. That Tesla farm uh, protecting the town hall, not so much. May do better using a bit more frustrating pathing for that. Um, so the it was easily tanked by the golem. So here you go, everything moving in here. Queen's taking out uh, the lava hound, as are the wizards. So it's not going to be an issue when it pops because there is enough there to go on uh, and take out those pups. So there you go, heels down, bowlers in. They've taken out two air defenses the enemy queen is down uh you're gonna have some splash is down two of the splash damage is down third one is now down as well with the queen taking that out so look at that just uh overwhelming the space the interesting part for me was that they came in from the nine o'clock side against the sweeper uh, but ultimately you're gonna see it doesn't matter um, ideally, I would have liked to have seen coming in from this side and maybe two balloons trailed in on this specific defense just to have everything move directly in uh, and have that Lava Hound tank the Expo straight away. But ultimately, again, did not matter. Still has a Lava Hound unpopped. Going to soak up two Seeking Air Mines to finish here uh, and still not go down. So tons of value we're going to two times this it's all clean up at this point there you go second seeking air mine still doesn't pop the hound would have made clean up a lot faster but that's okay uh again just look at the value of the kill squad what you want what i want you to see is that 
pretty much every spell other than the haste is used on the kill squad and maximizing the value in that kill squad. So we'll move out of this now and go for the last attack of the video and that is on uh, Chakra Shrivas. So here we go. So came at this a little bit different now. Really important, I want you guys to see this here. Uh, very different base design, uh, but really not gonna be strong enough and you're gonna see why both of these heroes, the Queen being the most potent defense you have at Town Hall 9, are easily accessible. In fact, a King, a Barbarian King could probably take out both of those heroes on his own. Um, maybe bring in two giants uh, as a tanking initially. So lots of value to be had here including a sweeper, splash, two air defenses, gonna pull the CC so lots of value to be had on that side uh, and then it's just a matter of bringing in that Lalo portion uh, and soaking up everything that this base has to offer. So we're gonna see this now. Wizards can come in early because there's nothing gonna target them so then we've got the golems start to drop now and troll tesla to the side there uh, trying to stop people from picking up some cheap percentage and funneling things a bit early but it gets taken out very easily so both heroes are out here uh, she queen is going to take care of most of a golem there so mass goblins in the cc they're going to get taken out by the poison very quickly uh, and queen staying outside which doesn't help uh, and taking out that baby drag but the wizard puts in work and the poison does the rest so there you go so again all the spells committed to that kill squad a heal came up as well uh, and don't manage to get the expo just yet but that's all right it's still being tanked and bowlers are still up so the uh, balloons are going to take care of that right now and balloons just getting dotted in around and about and gonna get that troll tesla as well just in time no not quite there you go, Queen uh, was putting in work on the outside, but now this Lalo portion is just going to rotate around. Still has a full health Lava Hound, and that is moving through now. So now the loons are just going to start pathing through here. Should you see a split? Not quite. So hasting into that back section, uh, tons and tons of tanking. Golem goes up to tank and take out the last of the Teslas as well. So look at this, all kinds of balloons, all kinds of cleanup, bowlers everywhere, minions, kings, everything. This base was just overpowered. Um, you guys might know I really enjoy ground attacks at Town Hall 9. Um, I really do need to work on things just like this um, because as you progress through Town Hall levels, air is just so dominant. Um, and Kanback really getting a head start on that, just amazing hits in this uh, war. Unfortunately did not come away uh, with the win for his team but really put in maximum effort. So those are some fresh hits in there as well. Um, throughout, I could have probably gone through and shown you which ones are fresh and which ones weren't, but um, it was pretty amazing uh, and great value from both teams. Amazing war. Um, congratulations to Immortals and CSC War Team. Um, better luck next time, but great work getting to the semis of the WCL Lightweight season two so if you guys want to know more about wcl you can have a look at the link down in the description and you can go into the discord channel uh, you may find a clan there and you can be a part of um, a whole bunch of different leagues and different breakdowns that might work for you um, but yeah do check the description and uh but hopefully we'll see a bit more wcl uh, action coming in the next week as well from uh, multiple divisions but thank you guys for coming in, watching this video, uh, and stay tuned for more. But until next time, have fun and keep clashing. Vision is out.